Hey everybody, my name is Jerry and this is Kara. Welcome to our workout. This is a faith-based cardio workout. We're gonna be doing some drumsticks and some ladders, some uh, high intensity cardio move ladders. So if you like this workout, um, please like and subscribe it. Again, I hope you find Jesus in this workout and you also get a good workout on. Hey everybody, welcome to our workout. My name is Jerry, this is Kara. We got a fun cardio workout for you today. You're gonna need some drumsticks. We're gonna rotate between a drumstick song and a high intensity ladder song, but it'll be for all levels. And our focus for today is gonna be a call to remember. So Psalm 40 verse five says, "O Lord my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. And Psalm 77, 11 says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. And so we're gonna talk about what that means to remember today. There we go. Let's get our jog on here, everybody. You gotta smile. This is our get-to. You gotta have a good time. We're gonna loosen up with some dynamic stuff as we talk about what it means to remember. Let's go ahead and do a torso twist. Yeah, feel the beat. I'm hoping this is already getting that energetic juices flowing in you, ready to move your body a little bit. Hey, yep, twist in here. So again, we're gonna talk about what does it mean to remember? Let's go ahead and do a high knee twist. To remember is not just to recall in your head, like, or to think about something, oh, I just forgot that, right? When we're talking about what it really, what it means to remember, that's what we're gonna look at today, because it actually means so much more. Hey, okay, let's go ahead and do a glider lunge. We're gonna get into our legs quite a bit today, so push your hips back. Okay, chest up. When you're ready, you can kind of bounce back and forth a little bit quicker. Go a little deeper. I'm gonna be doing some kicking, some punching. Mostly be standing today. Okay, let's go ahead and stand up. Okay, again, we're starting kind of easy. We'll take it up here in just a few. Grab that knee, pull up, stand up tall. Warming up our glutes. Now let's get into our quads. Here we go, grab your ankle. Try to pull your knee so it goes directly behind your other knee. Chest up, good posture. Okay, feel that on the front of your thigh here. How you feeling? Feel that stretch? All right, let's go ahead and do the polka. Opposite hand, see if you can reach and touch your toe. Right, you're gonna warm up your calf as well as your hamstring on this one. All right, so again, the Latin word to remember, re means again, like you're bringing to memory, but it also means memoria. I didn't say it right, that's all right. Okay, let's go ahead and jump rope. And that means to be mindful of, to put into your mind. So that's the Latin word, that's part of it. Let's do our cross, come on, it's my favorite. I always say you never mess up on this air jump rope. All right, here we go. Let's do some punches. Jab, we're gonna be punching today. All right, so just straight out, 90%. Your hands up, cross. Here we go. Oh, slow it down. We gotta slow it down a little bit. Okay, let's go uppercut. Keep it tight. Use your lower body as well while we're warming up. So that's the Latin word is to recall again, to be mindful of. Let's go ahead and do a couple squats here. Nice and slow and easy. And you know what? God remembers. As you read the Bible, you'll see multiple times how. God remembered his people. He remembered Noah in the flood. He remembered Rachel when she couldn't have children. Let's go ahead and lunge it out. Lunge forward. Hey, chest up. He remembered his people when they were slaves in Egypt and he delivered them. So you see how God remembers us. And now in return, we need to bring him to mind and remember him. That's the call for us. That's what this is all about. Can we remember God today? And we'll talk again, what does that exactly mean for us? Let's go ahead and do some skater. So you can just step. Okay, again, hopefully your heart rate's getting up. Your heart rate getting up, Kara? Good. All right, if you're ready, you can add that bounce. Okay. I'm feeling it. Here we go, high knees. You can either be marching, or if you're ready, get those knees up. So again, God remembers us. He remembers his people. And remember, the Old Testament word, butt kicker, 
is zakar. Zakar means not only to remember and to bring to your mind, but it also means um, to act on their behalf. Okay, go ahead and shake it out, bounce around. So remember means when God remembered them, he brought them to mind and then he acted on their behalf. He delivered them. Shake it out, do whatever else you need to here. However else you need to stretch, if you need to get some water, open up your chest. Okay, you can, oh, let's go ahead and do a couple cross jacks. Here we go. We're gonna do these later. Zakar. So remember means to recall to mind and then have an action. That's what God did for us. He remembered us and then he acted. Okay. All right, so we'll talk about that a little bit more right now. I want you to grab your drumsticks. Okay, get some water, get your sticks, and you see that, that's a good warm-up song, you see that with the psalmist, the psalmist would say, remember me, God, would cry out, because he wanted God to act, right, to bring him to mind, but then to act and rescue, so that's what it means to remember, okay, we're going to go ahead, and follow me, here we go, and down, down, up. Four times, let's go side, down, down, up. So we're gonna repeat the move four times and then we'll switch, switch, All right? You can come down to the ground, back to the center, All right? You'll get the hang of it, I promise. We're gonna do an in sync, bye, 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 bye. One, two, three, there you go. Add that bounce if you want, got a smile. Gotta laugh, we're gonna do a sweep. Ready? Sweep. I just missed my sticks. I missed them. How do you miss your sticks, Kara? I don't know. Here we go. Around the world. That's kind of bad. I'm just right here in front of me and I miss it. Here we go. Sit back, chest up. If you wanna come down to the ground, you got that flexibility, you can. Back to the top, here we go. Down, down, up. Try to get your chest up. You can add a little bounce. Turn. Add a little more plyo of a side. Woo, feeling at my legs. Center. Here we go, back to the bye, bye, bye. One, two, three. There you go. Have some fun. Here comes the sweep. Sweep, tap, sweep, tap. There we go. Almost tripped over my feet. There we go. Back to around the world. Front, front, back. I'm feeling it. We're also going to be doing this move later. So we're going to get no side. We're going to do a step touch here. Step, touch. Just add a little bounce if you want to. And then we're gonna go back to that course. Am I going to that? <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Down, down, up. Pounds. Come on, break a kick. Turn. Other side. Down, down, up. Keep going. Center. Oh boy. Gonna repeat it all over again. Ready? Down, down, up. Two, three, four. Side. Oh. <laughs> Other side. Oh, I'm feeling it. They're barking. Center. Woo! Okay, now you gotta throw your skin a bit. Not too far. Cause you gotta get, get some water real quick. All right, a little break before we do a ladder. I'm, I'm dying. I hope you're feeling that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is 25 seconds of a cardio move. Take a short transition, 30 seconds, 35 seconds, 40 seconds. Go up the ladder, 20 second break, and then we're gonna go down the ladder. Four moves, we'll repeat them. Different, uh, different times on the way down. So we'll go 25 to 40, then 40 to 25. Follow along. First one is scissor. Here we go. 
just oh, like my mistress. I'm feeling it. Here we go. Just like you're on the lift, go. You can add a little more plyo. Get that bounce. Push your arms. Yeah. Ooh, nice soft though. Make sure you're bending your knees. Right? Be nice to your knees here. Okay? Make sure you got that give. Should be a soft landing. We tell our students to pee when they're coming. Shouldn't hear your feet. Okay? Rest. Cross jack and then two side bends. Follow me. 30 seconds. So one, two, side bend. One, two, side bend. Here we go. Try to get that knee up as high as you can. Cross, cross. Say something. Say something I know All right, so for us, now you go we have a call back door, or a command already, yeah. to remember you know, what God has mad, done for us. Time. We have an action yeah, as you know, well. Workaholic. Our action is to worship. Okay, rest. Here we go. Hook twice. Upper twice in two knees. Hook. One, two. Two uppercuts. Two knees. Other side. Hook, hook, up, up, knee, knee. Yeah. Hook. When you're hooking, keep that forearm coming across. Okay, when you're uppercutting, use your whole body. Okay, pound the knee. So hook, pivot, use your lower body as well. Come on, pick it up when you're ready. It's fun to punch. This is fun, yeah. All right, this next one. There you go, Kara. She's encouraging me. Next one is a V squat thrust. Kara's gonna say standing up. Okay, I'm gonna drop down, jump to the side, back, side, back. So we're just bouncing. I'm on my knuckles to protect, protect my wrists. Okay, if you wanna come up in between, you can also do that too. Step, working oblique muscles. Okay, either way, or you can stay down the whole time. Okay, bounce. Keep your neck pulled back. Nice flat back. Engage your core here. Yeah, this is 40 seconds. Woo! All right, rest. Up the ladder. Now we come down the ladder. Ha! Ah, I'm gonna get some water. Okay, so think about the Lord's Supper, right? Jesus calls us to remember and to worship as we take the bread and the cup. Hey, so our call is to remember him. Coming down the ladder, 40 seconds scissor run. If you need to step it, you can step. If you need to wipe the sweat off, wipe it off. Here we go. You might be saying, how could I forget God? Right? What do you, how am I gonna forget him? But right, this side of heaven, we have so many things that distract us and try to block us from having God at the center of our lives. We're trying to take him off the throne. So many things in our lives that take our eyes off of him and they put our eyes on the circumstances. Rest. Cross jack and two knees. Here we go. Or side bend, sorry. Side bend. One, two. That knee, try to tap elbow to knee. So again, we have a call. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. When we practice this, it leads to worship. To remember what he's done. I want you to be thinking right now. Be thinking about something the Lord has done in your life. We'll come to that later. Hook, up, knee, here we go. Hook, hook, up, up, knee. Hook, hook, okay. You can slow down, you can go a little bit quicker. Okay, pull down. Hook. Good job, keep it up. 10 more seconds of this. And then we got the V squat thrust from me. Whoop, only 25 seconds. I don't Here we go, you can V, squat thrust, drop it down, Woo! jump it out, back. Hey, okay, almost like you're skiing on the ground again. Knuckles help protect your wrists, your elbows a little bit. If you have push-up blocks or dumbbells, that's also a good option. 
and not putting so much pressure on your wrist. It's not good to be doing this all the time. All right, you gotta take care of yourself. Oh! Ladder one done. Get some water. Nice job. Next one, we're gonna do a drumstick song. Grab your drumstick. But let's talk real quick about the things that distract us, right? We get stressed, we get anxious, and we forget that he's our provider and he gives us peace. And sometimes we don't remember that. We get real busy and we don't remember that he's our sanctuary of rest. We mess up and we condemn ourselves and we forget, we don't remember that he put it all on him. It's been taken, we're a set free. We don't remember that, it goes out of our mind. Or we're overwhelmed with our kids and their future and we forget that God has a plan for them and he's in control. So we need to remember these things and not get blocked by things of this world, but come back to that practice of remembering. All right, hope you got a good little rest. Having fun? Are you having fun? Here we go. Next drumstick song. Step, touch. Here we go. I'm gonna add a little Heisman here. One, two, three. Okay, Kara's gonna just do the step touch, All right? So she's taking it down. If you haven't figured it out, she's doing the modifications. Here we go. Get low. Again, that same move. I know you love me right now. Come on. Or, yeah, you can modify, stay high. Come down. All right, spider arms. Push those hips back. Can I read your shirt? I want to be able to read your shirt right now. All right, grab your sticks. Let's roll the bow. Here we go. Have some fun. You can bend your arms. Make it real big and soft. Eh? Come on. Sway, sway. All right, we're gonna pound on the ground. Ready? Now. Ah. Here we go. Yeah, have some fun. Switch sides. Step. You can use your hips. My hips don't work that well that way. But do you. All right, we're gonna go down, up. Down, up, side, up. Down, up, side, up. You can add a jump right here. Get those hips back. You got this. Up here, sweat. Step. Again, you can add that Heisman if you want. Keep going. Have some fun. You having fun, Kara? She is. Around the world. Woo. That's right, she's saying to get low. Low as you can. She's staying up, you can stay up. You can stay up. She got excited. Keep going, chest up. Here we go, swing it down. One more time. All right, here we go. Hips back. All right, we're gonna pound it to the ground. We're gonna repeat that all over again. Here we go. Pound it around. Boom. Out. We on it. We're in sync, baby. We're on it. I'm so proud of myself. Thank you, Courtney, Katrina. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Monica, for teaching me this one. You guys can do drumsticks too. It can be fun. All right, down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Come on. Can you go a little bit more now that you know? You know the moves. Can you take it up? Woo! Uh. Oh. Have your own little flavor. All right, have fun. I'm just gonna go step behind. You can do the Heisman. Jimmy, there you go. I like it, Kara. Uh, come on. Move around. All right. Nicely done. Boom. Get some water. One more ladder. One more ladder. That was a good time. Woo! Another ladder, y'all. 
then a four core finish. So 40, 25, 30, 35, 40. First one, squat, 180 jumps. Follow Kara for the modification. All right, here we go. Squat, jump, squat, jump. You're gonna come the other way. Hips back. Oh. Soft landing. Bend your knees if you're jumping. Hips back behind you. Hips back. Knees not coming over your toes. Good form. Again, chest up. Should be able to read your shirt. Okay, rest. Uh, jab, cross, jab, duck. Jab, cross, jab, duck. Staying on that side. One, two, three, duck. Boom, 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 duck. Jab, cross. Nice job. Keep it up. You go a little bit quicker if you get the hang of it. We're gonna stay on this side in a second and do kicks. Jab, cross, jab, duck. All right, ready? We're gonna do a side kick. I'm gonna shuffle. Kara's just gonna step. Okay, so kick, and I'm gonna add a shuffle. Kick, one, two, three, kick. All right? One, two, three. It doesn't have to be super high. You can be kicking up their knees, okay, their thighs, lean back. Slow it down. Take a breath. Recenter yourself. Here we go. Resting is not quitting. Quitting is quitting, right, Kara? Come on, let's not quit. Let's go. Second Timothy 2.8 says to remember Jesus Christ. Remember him. Rest. All right, uh, standing mountain climber. You can start here or you can take it up. I'm gonna just stay here for a second, 33 more seconds. You might say again, Paul, the apostle Paul is writing to Timothy. Why in the world would he say, remember Jesus Christ? Wouldn't you think, duh, of course he's gonna remember him. But again, no one is completely, you know, in the, they, no one can be, Everyone's susceptible to forgetting, condemnation, legalism, all those things that help us forget. There was a, a sermon by C.J. Mahaney. Let's rest and I'll talk. Woo, that was a sermon by C.J. Mahaney who went over this. The three things that really can block the gospel from our mind and our heart and our actions, a lot of times are legalism, condemnation, and forgetfulness. How easy we forget how easy we condemn ourselves. All right, squat 180 jumps. How easy we turn to legalistic behavior and forget that we have freedom and wholeness in Christ. Not in obeying the rules. That's not where you get your identity, okay? You should not shame yourself. I'm gonna shoot on you there. You should not do that, okay? Keep going. Your Sins have been paid in full. And we need to remember these things. And as we remember, we worship. That's our action. Like God, how he remembers us. And then he acts. What are we on? Jab, cross, jab, duck. Jab, cross, jab, duck. All right? Add that little bit of squat. You might start off slow until you get the hang of it. Jab. When you cross, turn your hips. Jab, and then sink back. One, two, three, duck. Jab, cross, jab, duck. There we go. Nice and strong. Boom. I'm feeling it. Keep going. Almost there. It's gonna be shuffle, side kick. Left side. Oh. Here we go. Shuffle. So don't allow forgetfulness, apocalypse. legalism, and condemnation to block the wholeness, the peace that we have in God and the gospel. The gospel is about freedom and wholeness, not perfection and performance. Let's not forget that. Here we go. One more move and then we got a finisher. Here we go. Sandy Mount Climber. 25 seconds. Here we go. Oh, grab and pull down. Okay, you might be here. This is good. This 
this is real good. Keep going. You can pause. 12 seconds. Take a breath. Give me all you got. Eight seconds. Come on, eight seconds. Let's go. Come on. Three, two, one. Nice. Good work. Grab a mat. We're gonna do a floor AMRAP. So we'll talk a little bit more about what does it mean to put into practice that spiritual discipline of remembering. All right, two minutes. Here we go. We're gonna go mountain climbers, swimmers, plank jacks, and ab twists. You're gonna do 20. You are on your own here, okay? I'm gonna come to the side. Here we go. Wait for it. And go. 20 mount climbers. My timer doesn't want to start. Keep going. We're just gonna go. Unicorn zombie apocalypse. 30, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 20. Lie down your stomach. Superman or swimmer. Opposite arm. Four, five. Let's go. Get your neck pulled back. Don't look straight ahead. Look down to the ground. Protect your neck. Lift your arm up. You can do just your leg if you want. If that's too hard on your lower back, take care of yourself. All right, plank jack can be high and low. You can jump out or step out. 20 might take a little bit. Okay. Hands under your face, elbows under your shoulders. You should not be slipping if you're doing the correct form. Neck pulled back. Lift the backs of your knees. Again, nice flat back. Squeeze that core. Keep going. I lost count. I think that was, I think that was 20. <laughs> Half twist. There we go. They go by pretty quick. You got this. I want you to start thinking about where in your life has the Lord come through? Where can you remember right now his presence, his goodness, his love, his mercy? I want you to recall that and maybe say it out loud. Say it out loud in your home and thank him and worship him. Here we go, back to mountain climbers. We're gonna go through these one more time each. That's our goal. Okay. <laughs> Tara says, okay, let's go. So much fun. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Hey, feel free to feel free to just move on to the next thing when you when you feel done with it. That's okay too. Almost there. Come on. Swim it. Swim. 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 Woo! Plank jack. Let's go with 10. I'm gonna go high plank on my knuckles. Four. Five. Six. If you wanna do five, that's great. Come on. You should be doing your own thing. Just do you right now. I'm gonna finish with that twist and then we cool down. Come on. Chest up, lean back, touch the ground, right by your hip. Ooh, three, two, one. Nice job, Kara. Yes, it's not over. But I will say, you guys, get some water. If these workouts have blessed you before we cool down or anyone you know, I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll donate. Okay, I hope you'll become a donor and donor, consider that because it blesses many people. I needed it. My wife needs it. My friends need it. So please consider donating. We're going to go ahead and cool down. We're going to start standing up. There we go. Let's go ahead and inhale. And then come to the right side or whatever side this is. <laughs> Follow me. Either side. Okay, inhale. Let's take it to the other side. So we need to take the practice or the spiritual exercise of remembering. I want you to remember right now, hands up. Open up your chest. Stay here. Remember that he freed you from your fears. He freed me from my fears. I literally had a conference once and my nickname was Afraid of the Dark. And I literally as an adult was afraid of the dark. And over the course of that conference, one night I was able to stand in darkness and rebuke it in the name of Jesus and it had changed in my life. He freed me from my fears. Now there's other fears he's still freeing me up. 
but I can recall that. Worship him right now. Is there a fear that he's freed you of? Okay, he has freed you. Okay, he has, let's see, uh, he's given you a new name and a new identity. Let's go ahead and take a foot forward. How has he given you newness in your life? What's something in your life you've stopped doing? How has he given you a new name? How has he redeemed you? In Isaiah 41, 3, he's redeemed you. He calls you by name. You are his. Remember that you are his. Remember that time when you felt like you weren't wanted and God was there and he held you just like this song and you leaned back in his arms. Switch, other side. Can you remember that right now and proclaim it? Say it out loud. What has he delivered from sin? Think about Romans 6. You are no longer under the power of sin anymore. He set you free from it. We can worship him. Now we do those things that bring holiness in life. He has set us free. Can we remember that? Remember the hope that he's given you. Let's go ahead and come down to the ground. Cross over one leg. Where else has he set you free? Where else can you remember what God has done, where he's given you hope? Where has he given you peace, joy, life? Where has he shown you his presence? I can also, my adolescence, I remember my parents were divorced. Go ahead and switch. My dad walking out on me, kissing my cheek, and going through an exercise uh, at a conference and seeing God right there holding me and showing me I'm not alone. He's been there for me. And I can thank him and I can worship him for that. Okay? Let's go ahead and come to a knee. Okay, stretch that hip flexor again. Who, right now, say it out loud. Who has had healing? Where has there been healing in your life? Can you worship God? Remember that healing right now. Where has there been a pregnancy that you you couldn't get pregnant and you haven't gotten pregnant, but God has given you peace? Where have you struggled to get pregnant? You couldn't. And God has given you a beautiful boy. Praise him. worship him. He answers our prayers. He's been there. Where have you needed money? Where has he provided for you financially? Say it out loud. Where has he saved a family member that was astray? Think of Marcus. I think of my dad. Two weeks from passing away, I was able to share the gospel with him. I praise him that I had that conversation. And he redeemed my dad. Lie back. Go ahead and crisscross. Take whatever posture you want. You can lie on your back. Tug your knees. Right now, just be in a place where you can remember. I used to write down these things in college, and I've gone away from it. But I would go back, and I would see how the Lord provided, how he gave me peace, and it increased my faith. And I would worship him. Where has someone brought you? Where have you gotten peace? Where have you gotten a job when it didn't look like you had a job? Praise him. Right now, worship him for it. Where has he given you reconciliation and relationships? Again, my dad and his wife, I had to be reconciled because he had an affair. And I humble, I was able to be humbled and ask for forgiveness, and he asked for forgiveness. And I worship him and I thank him for that. Where's the relationship in your life where you had reconciliation? So just proclaim it. Where maybe as a child, as a young adult, where can you remember right now? Has he set you free? Has his presence been felt? Maybe lie back with your feet open and your palms up and just proclaim that to him. I know right now there's many of you that can recall those times and it's, it's delivering you from this time of darkness where Satan's trying to block you from remembering those things. Thank you, Lord, for providing. Provided for simple things like mission trips for me when I didn't have enough money to go. My church paid for the whole thing. Little things. What does the Lord bring into your mind right now? Say it out loud. Write it down. Psalm 143.5 says, I will remember the days of long ago. 
I meditate on all your works and I consider what your hands have done. What has God's hands done in your life besides make you beautiful and wonderful and you're a good idea to give you identity? Where else can you praise him and worship him for that? Even right now, there's just goodness overflowing us, overflowing revelation wellness, and we can thank him and it leads us to worship him and give him glory. Zakar, action, worship. Remember, bring it to your mind, but let the action of worship come about. Lord, we thank you so much for your presence in our life, for your healing, for your love, the times when we needed to be lifted up and encouraged by a friend I can think of it again, Johnny here, just lifting me up when I was discouraged and didn't think I could do this and tell me it doesn't matter what you think, it matters what he thinks. And I praise God for that moment because it was speaking to me, it was the words of the Father. So we thank you, God, for this. We thank you for this ministry. Thank you for this time. And we pray these things in your holy name. Peace. Again, thank you guys. Please donate, consider again. Like I said, I needed this. My wife, my friends. My sister, there's people that need this. So if you don't donate, would you please at least share it? Would you share it with someone else? Because other people need to hear this. They need to be set free. If you can't donate, please do that. We appreciate you guys. We love you. Go and remember what the Lord has done. Peace.